What's going on guys? This is David here. In one of my previous videos, in a Top Tweaks video, I took a look at Control Center 11 by Laughing Quoll. Our number one tweak is Control Center 11. Customize the different toggles that are there. And we can keep swiping as well, depending on how many toggles we have. Up and try to get the flashlight to work. In this demo, for whatever reason, it was not working. So maybe that's a bug, I'm not sure, but the flashlight normally is fine. Today, we're taking a better look on that concept with a tweak called Maze. So you guys can see that pretty much one-to-one -one looks like the iOS 11 control center. This is less buggy, it lets you do more things, and it just looks a whole lot better. And I mean, that's for someone who's picky. Honestly, Control Center 11 really satisfied me because it looked enough like the Control Center and iOS 11 functioned pretty much enough the same way that I didn't really care. But you guys can see all the 3D touch stuff is there and we also have some animations on the different toggles like for the flashlight and for low power mode. And if you want to talk about the detail, if you tap on the screen recording button, it gives you that same look of screen recording where it counts down from 3 to 1 and it just one to one looks like the iOS 11 control center. In order for that to work properly for me though, I had to install CC Record, which is not the worst thing in the world because it's free and it was easy to do, but just letting you guys know in case you can't get it to work when you're using it, try installing CC Record and then adding that functionality and you should be able to use it. With Maze, you now have the ability to 3D touch into the Wi-Fi view and then go ahead and join Wi-Fi networks on the fly in that 3D touch view. It's pretty cool. So is that enough to update from Control Center 11? Well, if you're like me and you're satisfied with that, maybe not, but this feature might just make you purchase Maze. What I'm talking about is the ability to customize the Control Center. This is a feature on iOS 11's Control Center, but on the Control Center 11 tweak, you could not do this. Now, utilizing Maze, you can do this. So you can see all the various different toggles that I can have, that I can add, that I can rearrange, that I can remove, all those different toggles. So I think I'm going to choose wallet and I didn't even realize this, but duh, you have to press the plus in order to actually get it to be there. So once we actually do that, you guys can see I have wallet and voice memos. So we're going to put that up there just as a prime example. That is so not what's in iOS 11's control center by default, but you guys can see there's voice memos and there's the wallet. So if I tap on wallet, it's going to open the wallet app and same goes for the voice memos. So if you're like me and you were satisfied with Control Center 11, is the customizability enough of a feature to push you over the edge to buy Maze? Well, I'll let you decide that for yourself. One thing I do know is the developer of this tweak put in a lot of time to get the animations down perfect, to get things running super smoothly. So this is a lot less buggy and if you're having problems with Control Center 11 originally, then you might wanna take a look at this tweak. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at Maze. It will be live on Big Boss within the next few days. It has already been submitted, so hopefully it should be live on Big Boss soon. It will be live for $3 as the base price if you have not bought Control Center 11, and if you already have Control Center 11, it will be $1.50. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this tweak, whether or not you think that it's a warranted enough upgrade for you to spend some extra money versus just keeping Control Center 11. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and until next time, this is David, signing out. Peace.